night, folks. Welcome back. It is now day 30 <clears throat> of Inktober 2023. And today's prompt is Rush. Now, I, once again, immediately had a thought. And uh, this one actually is both the same time very notable and not notable but first before we go there's some meandering so let's uh, do a little bit of story time i feel like i'm getting into the groove of <clears throat> these uh early segments so <clears throat> So the prompt today is the word rush, right? <clears throat> so rush. Now, I usually think of rush, probably something hurry, maybe uh, for those gamers out there, high octane, you know, which octane we'll come back to because this phrase itself it's very important to what immediately came to mind but there was another pretty sure let me check if i'm not mistaken Yep, I missed the adjective, but there's a movie. It's actually a lesser known movie as well. A lesser known movie, uh, Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I think he's an underrated actor for, for sure. Uh, there was a, uh, there was a lesser known movie that was really wonderful, by the way, a premium rush. And it's about cycling or the premise the oddball premise is about cycling and delivery premium rush delivery right so that came to mind i would say and then we have driver uh this would be the other i maybe less underrated now he's kind of appropriate rated and i uh oh no i've got his first name uh it's gosling ryan ryan gosling yes uh oh no it's not called driver it's called drive just without the r Driver is probably the video game series I'm thinking of. But Drive. Gosling. Which. Uh, uh, the. Gordon Levitt has that little quaint. Average Joe going. But uh, funny personality. Uh, so does Gosling. But Gosling kind of smolders right. So. Brute smolder. Quirky. Uh, quirky. Quirky. Uh, uh, class clown, right? But in uh, personality-wise, I think they both have that exuding act, actor charm and whatnot. But what we're talking about, I'm more re referring to the character archetypes that they tend to find themselves portraying. So so far, we got like fast stuff, you know. It's just fast rush rush and of course uh there's always music but let's not talk about that um i don't actually know that much about rush but there there's that too but we're not heading in that direction so we have things that go fast and when i think about going fast i also think about like you gotta go speed right so there's like there's gonna be a lot of motion, which kind of works to my advantage. Now the downside is I have to draw an object that moves. Or maybe 
a character that moves, but we're not going in that direction either. Like running really fast or an animal running. We we've done that earlier with dodge day three, and that didn't go so hot actually. Um, I struggle quite a bit because uh, for dodging without doing animation. I needed to do three poses and then the poses have like action lines and stuff separate them to show the motion right there was another motion one too and that didn't go so hot either I think it was for the prompt plump and I was drawing an homage to Kirby on a on a star so we're gonna have to draw either a car or a bike and this could be a motorbike. So, in my head, I'm thinking, rush fast. Immediately, somehow, for me, my first thought was a cult classic. It is now a cult classic because it was actually a box office dud box office like it, it didn't do well but after its home release it went up so after home release right it became a cult classic and you wouldn't be thinking about this but it was made by madhouse madhouse is not a box office dump or, I mean, they don't usually release movies, but what I mean is they don't usually lack notoriety. And, of course, I'm talking about when I think of Rush, I think of street racing. Right? Maybe even underground racing. And then if you combine that with sci-fi... You get odd rate. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, Disney. <laughs> Sorry, Star Wars fans. Not pod racing, but you get anime sci fi racing. And that leads us to this movie. It's called Red Line. Red Line is such an underrated anime movie. Uh, if you're, if one is an artist, right? Like a, especially a digital artist, for that matter. But if you're a fan of hand-drawn things, this movie is an incredible testament to how to animate pure energy and speed hand drawn like this movie was uh i mean in terms of storytelling and writing it's it's a sci-fi with racing like underground racing so you have your anime tropes over larger than life stuff but the animation is bar none i it to this day when i see like speed sequences what's a great recent animation speed sequence uh studio trigger with uh cyberpunk right edge runner you know you have those speeds it's it's kind of nice the like the virtual cameraing like the staging and stuff it's kind of nice show that element of speed i mean you could go to uh sports anime any sports enemies especially ones that recently like dealing with cycling or you can even throw it back to like initial d or something no contest this movie it is so to me such a disservice that red lines animation did not become just r overnight a gold standard for the depiction of pure energy and speed. 
Uh, you don't even, you can turn, you know, you can turn off your intellectual brains about the profoundness or the storytelling or whatnot. But the animation is electric. I think it's uh, to the point that Redline was so far ahead of its current trend. It's kind of unfortunate. And this leads me to the whole street racing thing. This is a sci-fi, it's underground racing, right? But it's very akin to street racing. And what it does is it has these uh, early aesthetics of cell shading versus hybrid, hybrid, uh, hybrid like layering of effects, like speed lines and all that, and incredibly aggressive warping like incredibly stylized warping and whatnot. And what it also leans into is early, I would, in my opinion, early urban, 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 like, uh, urban aggressive, like styling. And this leads me to my last influence, which I forgot to, this now that I think about it uh uh what you call it the most recent surge so we can talk about like Street Fighter right Street Fighter 6 street urbanization and then uh, you have all these other ones that use urban stylizations with a hybrid look and whatnot like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Spider-Verse, there, there's so many of them that the, the little really bombastic kind of like really poppy style, right? Stylization. Uh, then this leads me to an underappreciated leap in another franchise, which I have another, uh, let's try to keep this story shape, uh, short. Back in my PS2 days, I played in a very underrated game series who which is no longer around it's called burnout and it's made by a studio called criterion games who was sponsored or like backed by a publisher that's no longer around I'm pretty sure uh uh, Criterion. That's, uh... They, they were... The story continues for them, though. Um... Uh, who were they? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. They're still around. It's just, uh... Oddly enough, the, the studio that the publisher that owns them wasn't really a video game company. It was Canon. Yes, that Canon. So, um, they just, uh, helped fund them, but eventually they ended up being on EA's payroll. So Burnout got buried for Need for Speed, which is where Criterion works now. Criterion works on Need for Speed game. So, without going through a whole history of my relationship with it, Let's just say I played all, almost all the Burnout games. But I also had Need for Speed Legacy. So now, the most recent one that Criterion released was Need for Speed Unbound. And to me, I felt that this got... This was too soon... <laughs> slightly too soon for racing. But what it did do is it brought the same red line experience, but used it in a hybrid format where they took the car models that are effectively, I would say, not Gran Turismo or Forza, Forza, right? However, they, they brought the hybrid urban, urban design in terms of like effects and stuff to racing which redline prior to this release like four to five years before and this movie took like seven years to like 
the vast majority of it is hand drawn, like or a great chunk of it is hand drawn. If you watch the movie, you have it. It makes my mi mind spin. And today I'm going to attempt to just draw one frame of this hundred thousand hand drawn frames of this movie. And we'll just get you, it'll give you an idea of how chaotic the, the movie's animation is. But it's fantastic. And I think uh, the leap to making um, Unbound, the contentious point was Unbound integrated hybrid, hybrid uh, design to car realism, like realistic car models. And unfortunately, racing is a niche a community that gatekeeps right because it's been it's been conditioned to expect specific things and the hybrid thing is a new thing not an old so it's got a lot of criticisms for that and then it's a live service model right because or it has elements of live service models but that's a different digression so today my goal is to bridge these two inspirations which is to combine urban design lots and lots of anime or it's more like a, a traditional like movement work with a red line and we'll throw in like our our you know oc theme somewhere somehow and then integrate these 20 minutes uh, less than 20 minutes that's pretty good it looks chaotic that's where we're going okay so um this is gonna be tough i think today is gonna be a very mentally axing day so we will see i think the object itself is not too difficult for me as in like um it has very it's very boxy which is kind of nice I think I need to draw a lot, uh, like perspective line. Because I do have a. It looks like it's one point perspective. I don't really know a lot about perspective, so I'm just throwing around terms like I think I know. So, for example, I need at least some sort of lines to help guide me. So, let's say it's this, right? And then the point, let's say the point is like right here. Might be actually further back. Uh, No, I think it's like right here. Let's just say it's there. And... I have no idea. This is not how uh, perspectives work, by the way. <laughs> I, I'm just making it up as I go. It's just helping me... Uh, it's helping me orient... How I'm gonna frame this. Because I do need to get this pers per perspective at least somewhat reasonable, or else, um, 
it's gonna look pretty tragic. Feels like it's further out. No, 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 it's not further out. Yeah, I'm already boned just just because of <laughs> like I can't even picture the vehicle. So I'm drawing lines right now. And I'm trying to picture the vehicle like drive like point it in this direction and it just doesn't look like it's correct. So it's more like How do I get it to look like it's driving? No Maybe it's aggressive, more aggressive to the So the thing I'm trying to imagine is the two lines I'm drawing now are where the wheels are going to go. You know, the wheels are going to be on these two lines. Or the imaginary wheels anyways. So they're not going to be really visible. Yeah, let's just say this. It, it, the perspective is going to be not on point. Yeah, I can't even picture it. This probably because this movie also warps a lot, and I think this is kind of warped. All right, well, <clears throat> I just say we use these lines and then we'll This is probably going to be the hardest part cuz uh I'm terrified. <laughs> okay. Um know where to start uh okay start with like so I'm uh, I can't express I can't express how much I struggle with uh, drawing objects especially large objects like a car
I think the side window is already too big. Okay. Um. So, like, the car extends. Heck of far, but it's down here, right? and then I just trying to get the <laughs> try to get the shape of the car. <laughs> this shovel thing. I really like this lip of this vehicle. I'm gonna be absolutely floored if uh, this even gets remotely close to where I started. It's not. A, a hot take here. It's not even remotely in the same proportions. Imagine where where all the things are too. Uh, a little downside about uh, this type of art style is that uh, there is an incredible amount of black, like uh, so much so that I can't tell where where the arts are it's amazing to look at them just uh oh my gosh it's actually pretty <laughs> i actually closed it in the same place. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, we we gotta fill in more things before we figure out if it's even if we can even work with this. Okay. Um shapes that I can see. Let's let's go with shapes I can actually see. Um something like this. Um, I can definitely see this. Definitely see this. Definitely this. Yeah, I, I, my, the, the perspective is like shot to all the oblivion. <laughs> Um, this, right? Is 
It's okay. It's it's actually not as bad as I thought. Uh, what you call it? Uh, on on first glance. Man, it's gonna be so difficult to uh. I don't even know. Art. Okay. So we know we have some sort of grill. Air. There's also, uh, I'm just gonna... There's also this, like, uh... And, uh... The muscle car, like, the exposed engine thing. Which I have no idea what is that shape I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. I'll hold the engine down. Let's see, what, what, what else can I make out? I don't even know how this connects to... Like, where the heck is the door? <laughs> is it... I don't know where the door starts and where the door... Oh! Oh, 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 I get it. I get it. Hold up, hold up. This is the this is the side view mirror. <laughs> like here. And the door is like here, but the perspective is so warped that I need to somehow line up these two things. Yes, because the butt is too... the butt is too big. Uh, I think that's something to work with. I know, I know. I know, it's terrifying. I'll look at it like a different angle and see what the heck in this one in this one the wheels are in a different place oh oh okay wow the door is really sunken in Okay, so the things we have to capture, right? The lights. The front lip. The hood. The engine. And then I think the rest can just be... I guess we gotta get the top print. I don't understand how to get the back to look proper <laughs> and the wheel frame oh my god okay we're definitely going to cheat here for, for quite a bit okay so let's uh try to fix this monstrosity i 
I think I have most of the connecting lines that I want in order for uh, uh, in order for me to like work on this. Actually, we might not even need these lines. It might just be implied as long as we... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. This is easily going to be the longest, longest section. Um, all right. I'm basically just using my eyes and yeah. Now I'm just using my intuition to figure out where my orientation is. I'm literally just guessing at the moment. I'm trying to uh, meet all the lines that I have drawn that are connected. And all I'm doing is liquefying it and moving the orientation to cl somewhat closely match the perspective lines that I placed down. You know, perspective lines because I, I I don't know if that's what that is but I drew it there because I want the car to largely land on those lines and if I can then I'll have a better idea Yeah, so I was a, I, I was a bit off, right? So this looks natural to me, which is uh, and what I mean is this is like I'm more aiming for. Uh, something like this. So, technically, I don't know how this works or how I figure out that's where it is. So, technically, it's like somewhere here. <laughs> like the car is just going somewhere off here. Which. I don't think is where I want it to be, so I'm gonna go back 
and mess around some more. <laughs> um... The way I've drawn the tires, like uh, where the tires are, is not correct. Keep lifting. Um, Tragic, I know. It's fine. Eventually, we'll get there. Alright. Let's try to uh, rescue this guy. <laughs> I think this was closer. Yeah. It's like everything needs a lift. Alright. 
try this again. This time, uh, we're just focusing on the big stuff. Because we still need to get this frame properly. I don't know what this is. I don't understand cars. <laughs> I mean, I understand cars by looking at them. But man, do I not understand cars from a drawing perspective. Okay, I'm drawing more parts than I... Uh, okay. This, this is like a shadow cut, right? And then... This would be... Four frames. No, no, no. This is the... We need the... We need to at least cover... The side view mirror. It's actually this line. Where is it? The answer is no. It's more or less that shape. How do I get the red? back is where it all falls apart because I have I can't make out anything I I just don't know like is is that the rear bumper flap Educated guess? I think my educated guess is like something like this. If I had to guess, there's probably like a lip that's coming down from here, down here, and extends forward. This is where the kid is, like the... There's probably another groove here, somewhere like that. So let's just stay... stay. It's probably lifted a little, so... Then it goes down. Like that. Um...
goes in All right and then it hits the front thing I'm doing my best to have as many interpretive lines as I can see. And I'm just going to use just those interpretive lines to, to make the car. Like, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, get a bunch of just sit here and... Look at references. Or hours to figure out. <laughs> Some of this stuff. So right now. I'm drawing lines. Where I think. I can do like a. A silhouette or something. Or like a use. Coloring to offset the lack of lines. So we're definitely going to do a lot of finagling. The lines I'm deciding on are where I'm going to color around and like cast ass lighting around hopefully <laughs> the one thing i'm probably worried about right now is uh if the car looks like it's actually moving in one direction because there's a lot of bending there's a lot of like uh There's a lot of, uh, motion language, I guess, however you call it, in the, in the car itself, like, uh, it's like frowning, like there's a lot of personality in, in the drawing, and then there's a lot of motion in the body too. Which is what I really like about the show. I mean, the, the movie.
Like, there's a lot of energy. Just, uh, cars don't really do that, per se, you know? That's the whole idea of... That's one of the biggest draws about stylized, stylization. Especially, uh, stylized motion. Yeah, we'll fix that. I'm I'm basically trying to connect all the lines. If I can manage to do that. I can fix or I can adjust. I can adjust it afterwards. It is so hard. <laughs> uh... to at least get the these lines oh oh no uh Okay, these lines are important. They have to like line up. Like they they actually have to line up. So it's like you know, it's it's crooked right now. So it's just telling me that the different things are angled inappropriate. Uh, they're not angled properly yet. I don't know what that is. Like. just control like what I don't under I don't understand how this works
<sighs> okay, okay, okay. I got some... Uh, I think the hood lines are going to be very helpful here. Like we want it to line these up, right? Okay, the hood lines can be very, very helpful. Clearly, the car is bowing up. It's like it's bowing. It's not, or it's con, like, it's forming a U. I really want it to be an N. So like I need to it, it's like this right now. I need to flatten them. Right. So I need to like get it to flat, which it means that my left and right aren't far apart enough. If I stretch the car out, it'll flatten up. So let's uh not do that yet? Uh, we should. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, we're probably using warp this time. Oh, wait. Let's get rid of, uh... Oops. No one saw that. I need the box smaller. I gotta see the boundaries. Warp where it doesn't work. It's so, uh, it's so off still that I can't.
You know, I could get behind, uh, like, uh, Plato. Like, the idea of Plato and, like, modeling putty and stuff. After doing this for so, uh, after doing this so many times. I can definitely get behind the whole, like, oh, just keep shaping it until, until it feels, you know, until it feels right. This is eff effectively what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, uh... More or less trying my best... To use what I understand... It just has to be good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or like, uh, we're not relying on... We're not relying on line art in this piece, thank goodness. I think overall, it's still like pointed in the direction I want. Yeah, you see the lines, the perspective lines. Um, I think I made my. There's a chance the car is a little girthy. Yeah, I made the car. At the end, the car became a little girthy from all the stretching. So, let's uh, pull it back. Oops. trying to get the wheels the theoretical wheels that are like right here to hit the line I might even say the red line Okay, <clears throat> this stuff needs, uh, need to liquefy this a little bit more.
The front bumper isn't pointed in the direction that I want it to be pointed. So. Something like that. We're getting close. I already spent an hour trying to get the shape language. Okay. We have to draw this with some level of accuracy or else everything is ruined. It's, it's like the middle of a car. <laughs> You bet your, uh, you bet your fake virtual bucks that I am going to hit, I'm gonna bash the heck out of this image. Because, uh, we're going urban, right? That means there's gonna be incredible color intense blacks everywhere it's, it's I'm gonna try my best it that's uh actually works to my advantage so that's a good news. Bad news? I have no idea what it. I have no idea what that's supposed to look like. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. All right. So. There's like two things sticking out, right? So there's these like, uh... There are two things sticking out. It's connected by a large... Center mass. Whatever it is. And then... The other second thing. And we'll call it a day. Let's make like the center unit. Like this. Whoops. basically two flaps and then something in the center <laughs> like uh
Bigger too. Now it looks like a loaf of bread. <laughs> it's okay. We'll we'll straighten up the lines. I might have made it a little too big. We're kneading our dough. All right. Might not look like anything, but I have it in my head, like. I know how to uh def define this. It's it's fine. It'll be fine. Um Is this line? I. Oh my gosh. How does that work? I guess it's, I guess it kind of does. Huh. All right, taking off the training reels. Yeah, the, the center mass is not pointed in, in the right direction. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold up. I know, I know. It looks like a loaf of bread. It's fine. It kind of looks like a boom box, actually. get you to look like you're pointed in the oh my gosh <laughs> it, it, it's okay I think this is close enough where when I redraw it it's fine <laughs> all right uh, let's try again Thank you. 
Okay. I don't think I'm gonna... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna mod this at all. Like, uh... Change his shape language, or else I'm just gonna... And I'm getting wrecked. There is some wordplay for you. I'm drawing a car, getting wrecked. Okay. So, things I have to get right. Um, it's good enough. And then 